Now you know, you know very well that sometimes when you have sexual encounters with a woman, even if it's one woman, for multiple times, men, you know this and you can bear witness. Multiple times, if you have sex with one woman for several times, chances of you having protection on possibly the third time is zero. Zero. You start to trust them. Even in a single night, and specifically when you're drunk, you can have sex in a night maybe three times. The first time you wear a condom, even if you're sober, you will wear a condom perfectly. Chances of wearing a condom from the second to the third time, very minimal. Why? You start to trust them. You don't know that one agent, one person with HIV can actually have a whole spread. Because assuming your girlfriend is someone else's girlfriend, because of course she loves you, but uh, you don't have the resources as, as much. <laughs> so she's still building the hope and you want to build wealth together. But there's somebody else who, of course, has already built the wealth and uh, <laughs> he can provide. And possibly the shoes that you're wearing, the present for your birthday from her, are coming from, <laughs> from a gentleman who uh, already made it. So you're struggling. This is goes to the campus students. You want to have sex exclusively, but you cannot provide. If you make a woman pro pro uh, pregnant, you're asking me in my inbox, Dr. where do I, how can I get pills to, uh, what is the safe way to, uh, to abort this child? I'm like, hey, bro, the safe way was before you had the sex. <laughs> so if your girlfriend is someone else's girlfriend, those are two people already. Now remember, your girlfriend is his girlfriend. And you're here. <laughs> you also have a side chick. Now these are four people who have a whole life around them. How many people can this four uh, infect? Now most of you saw that lady on Instagram who just posted things there and everybody was growing rampant. Do you remember? <laughs> My people on TikTok, you also know that lady who uh, trended on TikTok, on Twitter and on Instagram for just posting some funny stuff about HIV. And all of you, the whole country came down. Hmm? We got united. <laughs> you know her? <huh? laughs> this is the same concept. So one woman can actually infect multiple men even if she just has one man. And this one man has a side chick. It is a whole chain. So nobody is safe from HIV. At least by now we understand this. So before we start questioning the system, let's understand that one person is enough to change the entire generation with HIV. So nobody is safe. Nobody is safe. And believe me, when you do that HIV test, most of those tests actually reflect three months back. So for example, you go and take a test today. This is April. So it reflects back, three months back. That is January. So imagine that. Because you have to do another test three months from now for you to get the results of your status now. So you have to do it now to see from January, are you safe? And then you do it after three months to see if actually in April it was true that you turned negative for HIV. And most people who spread HIV actually don't even know they have HIV. Those people who spread HIV don't even know they have HIV. How many ladies have we taken samples of blood from them when we are actually doing blood donations? That's when they realize they have HIV. They are so surprised that actually their tests stand positive for HIV. They came to donate blood for heaven's sake, so they did not know. And you know, if you're suspecting you're HIV positive, chances of you going to do that donation, <laughs> very minimal. Very small. Very small. So some of you will go and do maybe just a general test. And that's when you're told, hey, by the way, did you know that this is the issue? You're actually giving the doctors or the caregivers a hard time to actually now start feeling bad. It's just to convince you that, hey, now you know you have to start taking drugs because here is the test. Or now you have to do a confirmatory test to just ascertain that you're now HIV positive. So be careful with who you are sleeping with. It's that simple. Just be careful with who you're sleeping with. We can never be safe out here. Okay? Use a condom at least. This goes to men who have started practicing semen retention. <laughs> You've started practicing, practicing semen retention and now you, have to, you want to practice it with every woman out here. My friend, there is no gold medal for multiple sex partners. You can be sure of that. There's no gold medal. Okay? Good. So let's continue. So now we've known how these drugs work. Now, after they have assembled... They form a coat and now they have to exit the cell to go and infect other cells. Now that is what called budding. At that stage, we cannot have a drug because it's already late. So question number one. 
And every medical student, every doctor out here has this question, but they never ask it. But I'll ask it. Even you, I know you have that question, but you hardly ask it because you're afraid. So let me ask it for you and let me ask it uh, uh, to you so that you can give me an answer. We have a drug that is going to block the virus from getting attached to the cell. Correct. Maravirok. We have another drug that is going to block the fusion of this drug into the cell membrane of your white blood cell. It is called enfuvritide. Correct. We have a drug that is going to block the viral enzymes for, from actually converting viral mRNA to make viral DNA. There is a drug to block that. Actually, more drugs block that. Correct. Very perfect. We have a drug that will actually inhibit the assembly of these already formed proteins, the assembled uh, uh, DNAs of the virus, from leaving this cell to go and infect other cells. Then now the question comes in, how is it possible that we don't treat HIV? How on earth is it hard to treat HIV? We are told we're just managing HIV and it will just improve our quality of life, add life to our years and add years to our life through these drugs and you'll take these drugs for a lifetime. How is it possible that we know all these stages, we know all this life cycle, we have drugs targeting each stage of the life cycle, but we cannot treat HIV. Are we thinking? 